Just trolling a rooster tail in my kayak, looking at my video game. All right, everybody. Uh, this is what I came up with for mounting my new Garmin in my kayak. Um, I'm not sure how long I'm going to keep this kayak, uh, so I didn't want to permanently mount it in there or run a bunch of wires inside. Um, and I'm also trying to figure out a way to have this transducer so that I might be able to use this like without a boat, like take it to the lake or whatever, or, or somebody else's boat, that sort of thing. And then I would want to reconfigure out how I get the transducer in the water, but still have a portable unit. But right now, this system is made, or this transducer arm is made specifically for this kayak. So I'll show you guys how that mounts to the boat. Uh, it's all self-contained, and it's, I think it turned out pretty, pretty awesome. Uh, I took it out on the lake, and it, was, it worked amazing. So I will show you how it mounts to the boat right now. All right, that's the inside of my kayak. And I want to mount my ammo box with the fish finder installed on it right here in the center. So I installed two little pad eyes on both sides. Uh, and then I just leave this little bungee in there. When I'm loading up the boat in the water, I set this down. And I want to place this far enough back that this arm here is past the last foot rest or wherever you put your foot. That way when it's in the water, I'm not pushing on it with my foot all day. So plenty of room. I can move, I can slide it all the way back or forward as far as I need. Right there is good. Uh, and then before I put the bungee on it, I open up my case and take my fish finder out with the base. It all fits inside the box there. Install the fish finder. That. Slide that in, and now I can put the bungee on to secure it to the boat. Just like that. I use the end of this tube right here to store the cables, so I got to install the power line. You could just leave this hooked to the ammo box if that if that works for you, but I like to have a I have it protected in the box, an extra layer of protection. Transducer's still out in the open, but I couldn't really figure out a way to make this all removable and collapsible and not lose my transducer into the lake, so I screwed all this together. Anyway, now that, uh, now that it's all together, I'm turn it on, put this somewhere. All right, so now um, once I've left the launch and I'm in deep enough water, I can use my paddle or my foot and I just tip this over and then it sits right down in the water at the perfect height and angle and I was able to adjust all those angles with the PVC pipe and then screw them in place with some self-tapping screws. Uh, and what another thing this does is that there's a lot of pressure when you're moving, well probably not a lot while you're kayaking, but uh, this isn't going to like uh, tip or whatever out of the way, but if you do get into some weeds or some shallows, um, you, you just use your foot or your paddle and you lift it up. Set it back over on the other side. So it's really easy to slide in and out. Just like that. Okay, I don't know if this angle is gonna work, but now that you've seen how it's installed on the boat, pretty, pretty simple. Uh, I'll show you guys what what the inside of the box looks like. Put that over there. All right. Pretty much the only thing that's in here is the wires. This is the coil for the transduce all the transducer wire, which they give you a ton of it. I mean, I guess that's good if you were going to put this on the bow of your your bigger boat. Uh, and I coiled it like this and placed it in the bottom so that the, the mount for the unit never forgot. so when this is all coiled nice and tight and down there in the bottom this mount for the fish finder can go inside the coil and then your your unit sit on top and everything goes together so so that's how I coiled it up in there um, that's the transducer wire. 
And then over here is just the extra power wire. Uh, and then next to that is the battery. Just a 7 amp hour, 12 volt battery. I think it's 20 bucks on Amazon. So super simple to take in and out. And then in the bottom, I just cut some pieces of that uh, foam floor mat that you get. Um, I got it at Costco or something. It's that stuff that interlocks together. Well, I cut it up and use it for all sorts of stuff. But that's what I use to hold the battery in place so it's not moving around. And it worked really well. Alright, so the, the battery just goes and fits right snug in there. And it can't slide it around. Hook up your battery leads. extra battery down in there, tuck it all down in there nice and neat. Uh, which way does this go? Goes like this. It's a lot of extra wire. <laughs> but once you have it in here, you don't really, I don't need to take this out for any reason once it's in here. I was just taking it out to show you guys because I can charge the battery while it's still in here. So I just leave it like that. And that's it. Put put it away. And that's how it goes. I just used some screws, some shorter screws than came with it to mount it to the lid. I will probably put um, a backer on there, like a block of wood or something on the inside so there's some more meat to screw it to than just the thin plastic of the ammo box. Uh, but this was, I didn't want to spend a lot of time if this whole thing wouldn't work. But now that I know that it's working and I like the setup, I'm definitely gonna mount this a little more permanent. Also, where the wires come through the side of my ammo box, um, these ends that uh, go to the transducer and the power are, I think they're 7 sixteenths big, and then the wire is just like 3 sixteenths. So you have to drill a cr pretty big hole to get it to go through the plastic but then you have a lot of gap around the wire, so it's no longer waterproof at all. So I'm, I'm there's got to be some kind of a rubber grommet that I can put on there, uh, and I will figure that out. If you guys have suggestions, let me know what what little part or piece I'm looking for, <laughs> so I don't have to go through a hardware store and ask them if you guys just know what the solution already is. Um, but that's the only thing. It's it's water res rain resistant just because of where I put the holes are under the lip of the ammo box, so if it rains coming straight down, you know, it's not gonna go in the thing, but if this went in the water, this is not watertight, but if you go in the water, your garments on top, so, I mean, the whole system would be ruined anyway, so it's not that big a deal. <laughs> I mean, you'd be probably be out the $20 battery, that would get wet, but you'd, or, you know, your system would already be ruined, so, uh, and, other than that, it's just the PVC arm, which, you know, I just cut the dimensions to fit my boat. Uh, and then I used a, uh, a little 90 degree thing here, and then I staggered these screws to fit the holes. So I just stuck it on there, made sure it was all aligned correctly, and then I used these little self-tapping screws to put it together, and that way... I could move things later. If I glued this all together, then, you know, it's permanent. But this way I could move it all on the boat and then screw it down, and it works really good. And it doesn't have to be watertight because, you know, there's nothing inside of it. So anyway, that is how I mount this to my boat. Now I'll show you guys some on-the-water footage. Well, hopefully you guys can see this screen. Let's turn it on. All right, and we'll deploy the There we go. All right, we're all set up. Hopefully you guys can see this. It's a uh... yeah, I'm in about a foot of water, so that's working. One point and a half, foot and a half of water it says. I want to try this. Uh, the clear view and traditional at the same time. Yeah, it's in one foot of water, so hey, it's working. Let's go uh, do some paddling and see what we see.
dropping off pretty fast. Perfect. Look at that. I hope you guys feel that. Let me point this camera at it. Ooh, looks like there was something down there. Maybe? Oh, yeah. Am I in fish right now? Look at that. Oh my god, that's cool. I don't see them, but it says there's fish all around me. Heck, I'm going to go fishing right here, see what happens. Oh, that's a, this is a big fish. I don't know if those are big or not. This is so cool. Uh, I'm going to quit video gaming and uh, see if there's actually any fish here. There's definitely stuff below me. Just trolling a rooster tail in my kayak, looking at my video game. Here we go. There, anyway, fish on. All right, got a fish on. Probably a little one. Oh my God, there's so many fish in here. Yeah, little trout. Oh, he came off. It figures. 